Sari, talk to me. Do you ever wonder what it would be like if instead of gaining weight on Thanksgiving, while you're trying to avoid food, you could actually lose weight and like go ham on your meal? Well, lucky you. This is what we're gonna be talking about today. How to enjoy your Thanksgiving meal and lose weight. So we're gonna be going over the details on how to do that and maybe some other things dribbled in here and there. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, one of the things that we always talk about is sustainability. So the approach that we're gonna be talking about today, please keep in mind that this is not an approach to be used over a long period of time because your response to it won't be as effective time and time again. Okay, like this is something to use around Thanksgiving time, around the holidays, you know, let's say if you have a vacation coming up and you're like, okay, I want to be able to kind of do like an extreme cut in a way where I can still enjoy myself. This is what this is all about. Um, allowing you to, you know, work up to what we call a treat meal. Can I say something? Yeah. Can I say something? So this, this technique or this strategy, uh, what is not a new technique or strategy? It's it's years and years and years old, proven to be effective. Often used by bodybuilders, figure competitors, and the like. And it is usually what they would call a cheat meal. We like to call treat meal because when you cheat, it just doesn't sound like a good thing. And we don't want to associate something that we're doing for a good purpose to be a bad thing. So, no, no hate on anyone that calls it a cheat meal. There's just our preference to call it a treat meal so that we can associate it with a positive thing. We call it the turkey shred approach, this okay? Is because it's around, you know, we, we normally do it around this time of year, turkey season. So turkey shred approach and- Do we do it? We've done we it. We, it. We've, done, we've done it a couple of times, um, you know, like in life. You evolve. So if for you, you're like, yeah, I'm the kind of person who, you know, loves to, you know, just go ham during, you know, thanks. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah, during, during Thanksgiving day, then this is an incredible opportunity. Can I say, thank you, um, that this approach is very much a short-term strategy. This is not to be something that you do regularly. This is not to be something that you do long-term or often even. This is something that you do for a very specific purpose um, with intentionality so that you know you can enjoy a certain meal that you're looking forward to and not feel like you're really having to hold back or you know refrain so much. Now, I will use caution if you have had a history of any kind of um, you know, inconsistent eating patterns. If you've gone on multiple diets multiple times and you've been inconsistent in that, if you've been trying to lose weight for a really long time and often it looks like this, I would caution you because the goal is really for you to be sustainable in any weight loss approach. And so if you've already kind of had a history that doesn't make you feel the best, uh, then I wouldn't really go into this approach, but maybe it will be good to know it for the future. And if you watch till the end of this video, um, we're actually going to show you where you can find access to um, the minute details of this approach where we actually will walk you through each and every step as you're doing it. So pay close attention, watch to the end. If you like this video, press the like button. If you like the information that we share, subscribe. If you want to be notified when we drop new videos, hit the notification button and we'll see you for more videos. So let's get on to it. Yeah. So in the turkey shred approach, we are actually mixing together three different nutritional approaches, which I would say each in itself is a little bit complex. So really the intention of this video is to take something that is more complex and simplify. Okay, that is our promise to you. The three approaches that are involved here are carb depletion, carb loading, 
along with your treat meal, obviously, we do not need to go to the approach of the treat meal. It's just like, okay, whatever the treat speaks meal. to you. You know how um, Yeah, along with intermittent fasting. Okay, so those three, you know, a lot of people call, you know, carb depletion along with carb loading, basically carb cycling. Okay, so in a nutshell, we are going to be utilizing carb cycling in order to help you get a little bit more shredded and take full advantage of your Thanksgiving meal. Yeah, yeah, actually use your Thanksgiving meal to your advantage. What? I would love it if you could drop it in the comments and tell us, okay, what is your like Thanksgiving thing? Yes, what's the ultimate Thanksgiving meal? Or maybe Thanksgiving meals are not your jam. Like what's your favorite dessert associated with Thanksgiving or just give us, make us hungry in the comments. Make us hungry. How about you? I would, okay, so my mom makes this thing. You know what it is. What's All it right. called? Almond Roca. No, what's it called? Um, salad. No, like the salad oh, that's not a salad. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yummy salad. Yes, it's called a yummy salad. What? What is that? Okay, I will tell you what it is. Yummy salad. My mom, I think, got this recipe from my grandma, and maybe my grandma got it from my great grandma, her mom. And it is literally whipped cream, like like hand whipped cream with grapes, um, Ma uh, marshmallows, I almost call them mushrooms. Marshmallows, a walnuts, pineapple, coconut. It's like a dessert salad. It's not is, a that salad. Your, is that your favorite? No, but I ha it was the most unique thing that I could think of that oh, like yeah. not everybody has a Thanksgiving. Okay, absolutely love pumpkin pie uh, for sure. And I would say green bean casserole is my jam. Sweet potatoes are my jam. I could definitely eat some meat. I prefer turkey over ham and any kind of mashed potatoes or uh, dinner rolls. <gasps> My brother and I would fight over the last dinner rolls. I to give them arm wrestling for them. We would fight over the dinner rolls. What about you? Pecan pie. <sighs> so good. All right, so All right, you guys, let's, get let, let's get right to it. We're gonna start with a bigger picture overview and then we're gonna take it by a day by day approach and we're gonna be talking about the intention behind that. So just to- And if it sounds really quick, that's okay. You can take notes if you wanna take notes, but like I said, we're gonna provide you at the end of this with a link so that you can actually go and you can download the whole approach and you can see it in front of you. Yeah, yeah. This approach is to be done over a seven day span. You're gonna start it on the Monday before Thanksgiving and you're going to end it the following Monday. Day one. Day one, Monday, this is what we call a carb depletion day. And in fact, days one, two, and three are going to all be the same. Okay, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, one, two, three. One, two, three. Those are going to be what we call carb depletion days. So basically, what you're going to be eating that day is just your protein, and your veggies, okay? When we're talking about veggies, ideally what you would like to go for is those greener types of veggies, like the non vegetables. Yeah, not yeah. the potato kind of veggies. Let's give you guys some examples. By the way, it doesn't matter whether you're a vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, carnivore, whatever it is, protein of choice, all good, okay? So um, let's give them some protein choices. Protein choices, um, eggs, egg whites, any kind of lean meats, protein shake that is no carbs. These are just a few, okay? Protein and veggies. Three to four meals, whatever your body requires. Basically, if you eat three meals a day, then stick to your three meals. If you eat four meals a day, stick to your four meals. If you feel hungrier than normal because you're just eating proteins and carbs, feel free to add a meal. That's totally okay. Okay, so basically the main point is protein and veggies. So this is gonna be your day one. Day two, same. Same. Day three, same. Same. Look at first three days easy. Easy. So, some things to expect. Day one's gonna feel all right. Day two, 
you might feel hungrier than normal day three you know when we've run this in the past with some of our clients they would say that by day three you know like they they will feel like they're well, more likely hungry, to want to go for carbs hungry day four day four so that is thanksgiving day thanksgiving day the first half we are going to be incorporating carb depletion still okay so ideally you would want to be consuming your veggies and your protein in the form of a liquid okay in the form of a liquid i believe with what we're providing also there are recipes exact recipes that you can use especially for the morning of yeah and the following day we'll get so it. at this point you may be thinking okay what do you mean in liquid form well kind of like green powder with protein powder that would be ideal so it goes faster through your system that way we're keeping your metabolism up uh, that way we're also you know making sure that you have more room to eat so we can set you up for success as we go into the second part of your day on Thursday we have not mentioned anything about fats so some of you who are into the macros might be wondering okay but what about fats fats are not off limits they're just as normal just as normal so don't overdo it because you need extra food just as per usual um, and there are like I said, directions, step by step by step directions, recipes, um, the met the science and the method behind this madness, all in the um, information that we're going to give you. Yeah. Also, another question that you may be wondering: Well, Erin and Sari, what about working out? Like, when should I be working out this week? The reality is, is that you should keep your workout routine as is. Okay, um, so the reason why, you know, we're just gonna tell you our two cents is that, well, when it comes to working out, it all depends. If you already work out, you know, regularly stick to your workout routine. If you are not working out at all and you're already putting yourself up for the challenge, we will challenge you to go the extra mile and do some form of movement, by the way, in the link that you will use to download the description of everything that we're basically walking you through there are also workouts okay there are workouts to guide you through that week in order to make sure that we are boosting your metabolism even more so that you can be sure to set yourself up for success while you're taking on this nutritional approach day four big meal all right so thanksgiving day Okay, first you'll want to have, you know, two shakes with greens and a protein, preferably, okay? If you're like, Sari, you know what, I don't have any protein powder on hand and, you know, I ordered one, it will probably get here by Black Friday. Okay, cool, just, you know, stick to your protein and veggies, okay? Basically still working on carb depletion. We're gonna keep the main thing the main thing. Basically what Sarit means is take a chicken breast, blend it up in a blender, put some water in it, and just drink it like a boss. Yes. You don't need to do that. <laughs> I tried it. You don't need to do that. So depending on when your Thanksgiving meal starts, I feel like Americans have like a Thanksgiving dinner at lunch and I mean I know that I'm a foreigner and this is something that I'm still trying to figure out. Yeah, and appetizers start at breakfast. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> this is murder. So, so bas basically we understand that, you know, like depending on your family or who you're celebrating with, you know, dinner can be anywhere from 11 a.m. <laughs> to 7 p.m. Yes, exactly <laughs> that, okay? So, you know. So you wanna plan ahead. Yeah, and another question that you may be wondering is, well, my family, the way that we do it is, yeah, we start our dinner at lunchtime, but our dinner is also like around dinner time. So does that mean that I get to eat, you know, two times? Yes, 
You do you did. know what? Do you know why we have dinner? Do you know why we have Thanksgiving dinner at lunch? So we can have another dinner. Yeah, so you can so you can justify eating more. Go big or go home. Still hungry after I ate six plates yeah, of yeah. turkey and green bean casserole. So Thursday, whenever the people that you're doing Thanksgiving with, okay, or your family, you, whenever you want to start your Thanksgiving meal, this is basically where your treat meal period begins until the end of that day okay so it could be noon to seven could be two to seven could be four to seven keep in mind that just because we said could that does not justify the fact that if you're like well normally my family like starts at four but because you said i can i'm just gonna like you know like stuff my face even more from a behavioral standpoint it's you're just not gonna feel great about it the next day so you know just do the same thing that you know whatever tradition you normally have for thanksgiving is and just go ham and make the most of it really or maybe you don't need to go ham maybe you just want to make the most of it okay and, and and knowing that you've done what you've done up until that point gives you a, a sort of permission to enjoy and indulge and be present and you know have the experience without feeling held back or restricted and you know then not feeling bad or guilty the next day because this is in an intentional strategy but for it to be beneficial and for it to be effective you have to do it right so you can't oopsie on the first three days or the morning of you have to do it right and you can't oopsie afterwards you have to do it as it's written out yeah because at this point your body is depleted from carbs by the time you get to your thanksgiving meal it's just you know it's all gonna go straight up to your liver and muscles instead of getting stored as fat um, basically this is why you went through carb depletion for the first three days so second half of thanksgiving day you do your thing have a blast in the comments let us know uh, what it is that you plan on having we would love to celebrate that with you and then right after that let's say your cutoff time okay you're like okay like you need to make a note of your cutoff time yeah you're gonna need to make a note of that so let's say dinner ends at six but you're like okay but I, you know i'm i'm gonna have dessert as well i'd say okay i'm gonna stop eating at seven okay cool so from your cutoff time you're gonna measure 16 hours you're going into a 16 hour period of intermittent fasting so let's say you get done eating last thing you eat is at 8 p.m you will go until 8 a.m plus four more hours so you will go you no. will you will not eat until noon and when you get back to eating on friday black friday it's gonna be you're gonna go back to your protein, protein. and veggies okay no treat three day day two no okay. black friday third thanksgiving meal. like you you go ham within your period you can eat turkey leftovers you definitely can because that's, that's protein. protein that's protein okay but no more dinner rolls so friday 16 hour intermittent fasting period now things to keep in mind for when you're intermittent fasting if you're like us you're a coffee drinker if you're a coffee drinker something to keep in mind is that if you're having like your almond milk or your coconut milk your creamer that sort of thing that will take you out of intermittent fasting mm -hmm. keep that in mind okay so like when when you're drinking something in the morning and we would highly recommend that you do you'd probably be thirsty f from the you know increased carb consumption salt Sodium, consumption yeah. you know sugar consumption you'll definitely want to drink something look bcaa's water bcaa's with no calories yeah uh, or hydro from x endurance uh we'll drop a link in the description for that but no cool. calories no yeah calories. club soda green tea black coffee all good okay so like anything with like creamers like anything that has energy in it or calories 
will basically take you out of intermittent fasting mode, okay? So it will defeat the purpose. Exactly, okay? So just for that morning, make sure that you are aware of that so you would be able to follow through. You may wonder, well, should I do stevia? Is that okay? Uh, yes, it is, okay? Um, so stevia, we hope that if you're watching our channel, you do not have any artificial sweeteners in your house. If we do, we now tell you, take it, make it a point to toss it out, substitute it with either stevia or monk fruit. Um, that way it is better, better for you overall. Okay, so Friday, after you're done with your intermittent fasting, you're going back to carb depletion. Basically what you did on day one, two, three. Yep, and you're gonna repeat that on Saturday and Sunday as well. Okay, Monday morning, you are going to take measurements. Monday morning before Thanksgiving and Monday morning after, the week after. So this will be what we call a test retest, okay? Where you're basically like, okay, well, let me test how this approach has worked for me. And this will allow you to gather data and see, okay, was this effective? If so, feel free to use it, you know, next year for Thanksgiving, or maybe if you want, feel free to use it for, you know, um, the other holidays that are coming up. However, something that is really important to keep in mind, this is an approach to not be abused. This is an approach that is meant to happen every once in a while over a seven day period. Trust me when I say this, if you were to, you know, repeat this 10 times in a row, the second and third and fourth and fifth time that you do this will not be nearly as effective as the first one because your body has already adapted to it. So that is your turkey shred approach. That is how you can lose weight, take advantage of your Thanksgiving meal, enjoy, indulge, not feel bad or guilty about it. And if you wanna make it more fun for yourself, get other people involved. Get your BFFs involved or any of your like fitness enthusiast friends or people that your are also- accountability buddy. People who are also on their health journey. Share this video with them ASAP so that they can watch it, they can download the stuff, and they can be on board with you so you guys can start Monday before Thanksgiving. Absolutely. Go get them. In order to find the full, fully loaded outline of how to do this approach and what the science is behind it and why it's actually effective, there is a link in the description below. So check that out, click that, download that, read through it, be prepared, share this video with your friends so that they can do it with you so you guys are accountable to one another. It's fun, it's like a game, and then makes it more interesting and entertaining, so. Go get it.